Squad. This is your girl Shaquana coming to you loud, live in the color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. How you doing this morning? Thank y'all for coming back to my channel, for liking, commenting, subscribing. Thank y'all for sharing my videos. Thank y'all for giving me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Just thank you for sharing your opinion. Thank you. I want to really, really appreciate and thank y'all to my thank thank you to my old subscribers that have been rocking with me for two years welcome to the channel to my new subscribers thank you for choosing my channel thank you for liking commenting thank you for just seeing something in my channel that made you want to subscribe so thank you okay I want to talk about Daniel Cameron. This man has called out celebrities, influencers. And if you do not know who influencers are, that's YouTubers. That's YouTubers. That's bloggers. Okay. He's also called out activists. Basically telling us to mind our business. That we should not have an opinion about the indictment that was handed down in the Breonna murder case. Because we don't live in Louisville, Kentucky. We don't know how people in Louisville, Kentucky feel. We don't know the business of this case. I want y'all, first of all, I don't appreciate him telling me to mind my business because this case is my business. That was a sister that got killed. Okay. I want y'all to sit back and I want y'all to look at and I want y'all to listen at what this man said. And we're going to come back and we're going to discuss it. There will be celebrities, influencers, and activists who, having never lived in Kentucky, will try to tell us how to feel, suggesting they understand the facts of this case and that they know our community and the Commonwealth better than we do, but they don't. Let's not give in to their attempts to influence our thinking or capture our emotions. At the end of the day, it is up to us. We live here together. We work here and raise our families here together. There will be okay, y'all. Y'all tell me how y'all feel as fellow YouTubers. I want y'all to tell me how you feel as viewers, subscribers. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel listening, listening to what this man had to say. Because me personally, this case affected me like I never thought it would. I have followed this case from beginning up to now and I cannot believe a wall got justice I cannot believe that the indictment did not include Brianna Taylor I cannot believe that this sister did not get justice. I cannot believe this. But then again, yes, I can. Because look at who was the, spe the special prosecutor. This is another example of a black man with power not giving a damn about a black woman. 
this is the ex this is why I put the video out that I put out. This is the this is the reason why I said what I said in my video about black women being hurt because of white men, me black men dating outside of their race. This is why I said what I said because of men like Daniel Cameron. This man has the mind of somebody that don't care about the black woman. This man has showed that black women don't matter. He has really showed us that he do not care a black about black women. He never did. He came from a black woman, but you would never know that because of the decision that he made to not indict the cops that killed this sister in her sleep. And folks want to disagree with what I said. This is why I said what I said. And I don't take it back about what I said. This man had every chance and every opportunity to do the right thing by her. And he chose not to do the right thing by her. He chose not to do the right thing. And then he wants to tell folks to mind their business, basically what he's saying. He's telling us to not to have an opinion about a sister being lynched, assassinated in her own home while she slept. He don't see anything wrong with the boyfriend being blamed for her murder. And y'all disagree with what I said. I don't care who disagrees from this moment on with what I say about the black community. I don't care who I don't care who disagrees with me. I don't care. I do not care. Because what this man did, it was disgraceful. And it was disrespectful to that young lady. She was 26 years old. She deserves justice. Her family deserves justice. And they did not get it. They, they did not get it. They will not get justice. And it's hurtful. It's just another example of a white I mean a black mm, a black man cooning for, for Agent Orange. This man is a straight up sambo. He don't he don't care about his black sisters. And I'm gonna go so far as to say he really don't care about his sisters because he's not marrying a sister. Instead of him investigating, making sure that this case is done right, he's spending time getting engaged to a white woman. And the picture that he took with this woman, you don't see none of his family. This man is being used to hurt 
us. And he don't see it. He don't care. I pray to God that don't nothing happen to this black man. And he's going to need the black community to back him up. He's going to need that black community. He's going to need the black community. He's, go he's going to need the black community. He's going to come back to the black community when something happens to him and he needs some help. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm angry right now. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm pissed. I'm mad. I knew something was not right. When they put up barricades. When they did when, when they when they put a curfew in place. They already knew what the indictment was gonna say. They were just waiting. Now the National Guard has come in. And the National Guard, let me tell y'all something. When y'all get out the military, y'all gonna need us. Y'all gonna need the community. Y'all gonna need the people. You gonna need the people because the, 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 yeah. Y'all be safe out there protesting. Stop, matter of fact, stop protesting because protesting ain't helping Jack. Peaceful protesting ain't helping nothing. I am angry. Yes, I am. I'm pissed. Yes, I am. Because the black woman is so mistreated. Breonna Taylor is not the only one that has not gotten justice. Remember Sandra Bland? She was killed in her cell. Talking about she committed suicide. The hell she did. She did not commit suicide. She did not commit suicide. But this man wants to tell celebrities influencers activists to mind their business because we don't understand the the details of this case the notes the, the nuts and bolts of this case because we don't live in Louisville Kentucky where well, I got an opinion and I'm gonna give my opinion of this case Daniel Cameron, you let us down. This was a slap in the face to black women. This was a slap in the face to the black community. This was a slap in the face to your, to your ancestors. You did all of this for what? Because you kissing Agent Orange's behind? Because you so in love with Agent Orange, Daniel Cameron. I hope you sleep good at night with that white woman. I hope you sleep peacefully. I'm praying that the soul and the memory of Breonna Taylor is not haunting you. But if she is, I hope you don't get a night's sleep. I don't ho I hope you don't rest at night. I hope this case haunts you for the rest of your life. Cause you are the cause you're on the wrong side of this. You are on the wrong side of this. You done messed up. This shows that you just another black man that got a white woman and don't care about 
your sisters. You showed your disrespect. You showed your disrespect to a black woman. You showed that you don't care about this black woman. You showed you don't care. You showed you do not care. And that's all I got to say. You you don't care about the black woman. You don't. You don't. You never did. You never will. But I pray to God, don't have to ever have, happen to you. And you have to come back. Trying to tell me I don't have an opinion. Trying to tell me I need to mind my business. No, this is my business. This was a sister that got killed. And you don't care. But that's alright. That's alright. I hope you sleep good at night with that white woman. I hope you're sleeping good. I hope you're sleeping good. I hope you sleep good at night. If not, good. You shouldn't sleep good. Her family's not. Her family ain't sleeping good. Her family tossing and turning. Her family still hurt. And you get to go home at night with that white woman and just laughing kiki and kaka. You don't care. Daniel Cameron, but you want to tell somebody that you know celebrities, influencers, and, and, and activists going to have something to say when they don't know what they're talking about. Yes, we do. We follow this case closely, and we don't have to live in Louisville, Kentucky to know what happened. We know exactly what happened. A sister was killed. White folk did it. Her boyfriend was trying to somebody tried to frame her, her her black boyfriend for her murder. She got no justice. Y'all tried to make it look like she was a criminal. You could have done something about it, but you didn't. You didn't want to do your job. That's why you did not indict the police officers. But it's okay. It's okay. I hope the black community in Louisville, Kentucky, vote your black behind out of office. Because you don't deserve to have that seat. I, I, I really do hope they get rid of you. And maybe you'll work at Walmart somewhere. Yeah, that's what I hope. Y'all comment down below. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Cause I'm 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 ready to hear the I'm, I'm ready to read the comments. I'm ready to know what y'all think. I am ready to know what y'all think. Make sure you thumbs up this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell twice to be notified. If you're an old subscriber, make sure you know on. on. Share my videos. And like I always say, God only gives you one life, y'all. Please live it. Bye, y'all.